thank God for Shane. Uh, he takes real good care of the animals, and we need him. I'm Shane Blake. I still work in the egg school farm. I come here every morning and afternoon. I feed those animals and give them water and clean up their stalls, collect those eggs. I keep an eye on them. We have our engineers and custodians, but uh, I mean, in terms of animal care, it's been pretty much just Shane. You know, he'll, he'll come to me and say, listen, Mr. Hook, we're low on chicken feed. Would you order some? I'll go run out with the truck and get some. But it's a pretty much a one man job. We're a typical high school uh, with college prep courses and, you know, four years of math, four years of science, four years of English, all that. Uh, and then all of our students take eight courses, two courses a year in agriculture. It's a whole culture. Obviously, this is, you know, different than, than you know, anything anybody's ever seen. Um, you know, thankfully, we have great, great staff and, and great students, and I, I think we've adjusted well. We just got through the first week of, of the remote learning and implemented that pretty much without without any problems and we also had the uh the grades were all due yesterday so it was a it was a busy week after spring break last week what's your favorite thing to do here on the farm uh clean their pig stall why because of their i left them outside we had horses here for years they moved out a few years ago when we uh started building our therapeutic riding barn uh, which we just completed and had a grand opening about a month ago. Uh, hopefully we'll get that up and running when this crisis is over. But uh, when we first started with the horses, Shane was one of the first uh, equestrian riders we had for uh, Special Olympics here. I ride horseback riding in Special Olympics. I got first place. I think nine of the ten placed, and uh, Shane was the, uh, the gold medal winner. He started coming here as a volunteer when he was probably eight or nine years old, and and uh, he was a student here for four years, and, and just you know went went to the animal science pathway and did very well. He was a superstar, and um, since then, since he since he's been out of CPS, he's uh, officially a uh, our farm worker. And uh, I tell you, we, we could not be getting through this crisis without him.